Today we're going to learn how to create messages using Bootstrap inside our websites. And as you guys can see in front of me here, I decided to scratch the website we've been building for the past couple of episodes because it wasn't very pretty. So instead, what we're going to go ahead and do at the end of this series is we're going to go ahead and try and build an entire front page using Bootstrap just to give you guys an idea about, you know, building an actual website using Bootstrap and the end of the series here. So what we're going to go ahead and do today is just focus on creating messages. Now when I say messages inside Bootstrap, I'm talking about a block that has some text inside of it. And then depending on the message, the blog is going to have a certain styling as well as the text inside of it. And if we were to have links inside the block, it would also have a certain styling. So inside our code, we're going to go ahead and start out by going inside our body tags. As you guys can see, I have a container inside my body tag, just so we have the messages inside the middle of the screen. And inside this container, I'm going to go ahead and create a div box. Now inside the div box, I'm going to go ahead and write some kind of text. So I could actually say success, just to give it some kind of message. You did well, like so. Now, if I want to go inside my div tag, I can actually go ahead and add a class that exists inside Bootstrap called a well. Now a well is when we have a regular piece of text that has a block around it. So basically what we're creating here is just a very basic message that doesn't indicate a warning or anything like that. So the way we can decide the size of this well is by saying well dash and then the size of it. So right now if I want a small message, I can go ahead and say SM. Then I can refresh the browser and you guys will notice we get a small message inside the browser. Again, if I were to go back inside my code and change it to LG, which stands for large, refresh, you guys can see we get a bigger padding around it. So this is a basic way to illustrate text inside some kind of message. Now, if I were to include some kind of styling to it and actually indicate some kind of like danger or success, I can go ahead and change this up a little bit. So instead of writing a well, which right now is just a standard styling for adding padding around text, I can go ahead and write alert. Instead of writing well LG, we can go ahead and write what kind of styling we want to have inside this message. So right now, if I want to have a success message like I have here, I can go ahead and say alert dash success. If I were to refresh the browser, you guys can see that now we get a green success message. And again, if I want to make something a bit more bold, I can go back inside my code and change my success text by adding a strong HTML tag around it. So I can go ahead and just copy this around it like so. And as you guys will notice, now we get a strong message inside our browser. Now, if we were to include a link inside this message here, let's actually say we want to say success, you did well, here is your price or something like that. We can actually go ahead and say we want to include an anchor tag inside the message here. And inside the anchor tag, I can say here is your price. Like so. And if we were to go inside the browser, now you guys will notice that we don't really have the default bootstrap styling or at least the styling that matches this message here. So what I can then do is I can go ahead and give this anchor tag a class. So I can say class set to alert dash link. And now if I were to refresh the browser, you guys can see it actually matches what we just did in here. So now we get a dark greenish color that indicates a link. So if I were to go back inside my styling here, I can actually go inside my alert div box and change it from success to danger if I wanted to go back inside my website. And now you guys will notice that the entire styling changed inside my message here. Now the next thing we can do to this message here is we can actually be able to dismiss it. So if we were to click on some kind of X icon, we can actually get rid of it. And the way we do that is by going back inside our code and inside my div class here called alert, alert danger, I'm gonna go ahead and add a class called alert dash dismissible like so. And then inside the div tag at the first line, I'm gonna go ahead and include a anchor tag. And inside the anchor tag, I'm just gonna write hashtag inside the link because we don't want it to link to anywhere. And then I'm going to go and include a class inside this anchor tag, which I'm going to call close. Then we're going to go and include a attribute called data dash dismiss, which I'm going to go ahead and set to equal to alert, which simply indicates inside bootstrap that this is a alert dismiss feature including inside this anchor tag. And then the last attribute we're going to include is called area dash label and we're going to go ahead and set this one to equal to close so this is a closing button inside this message here 
Now inside the actual text, I'm going to go ahead and say we have a ampersand times semicolon, which is simply a symbol that is basically an X. We could also just have said X if we wanted to, but this is the actual symbol for it. So now if I were to save this and actually go inside my browser, you guys will notice that now we have a X symbol we can actually click. And once I click it, it disappears, which is a really nice feature inside, you know, messages. Now, if you guys think it disappeared too fast, we can actually change it by making it fade out instead. So if we were to go back inside my code, I can instead go inside my alert dash dismissible and say we want to add a fade space in. If I were to then go back to my website, refresh, you guys can see that now it fades out. So these are different ways we can actually include messages and actually make them disappear, you know, with an actual user input inside your website. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.